I'm gonna prove to you that you cannot have good internet with Verizon. This is the extender that I had to get because Verizon Wi-Fi signal didn't reach past about 10 feet. There was four replacement routers. And they said that it was our fault. They claimed that it was my fault that their router just sucks. So we had to get these. And now I'm gonna go downstairs and show you. And now you're gonna see this is my basic networking setup. So down here I have a Linksys EA 9500. Then we've got the Verizon Quantum Router, and up here we've got the Linksys fill up. So, right here we see that Verizon Router and the Linksys Router is plugged into this extension cord, and the Linksys Router is plugged into there. So then, we have my main Ethernet cable. This is how Verizon installed it. Does this seem professional to you how they installed it? This is how they installed it about, um, I think they replaced it about two years ago. Okay, so I don't know much about cable. I don't use it, but my parents do. So, with this Verizon Quantum router, you need to have this as your router. And if you don't, then your cable will basically be useless. Your channel guide and your DVR will not work. So, pretty much, you get screwed. So, I asked a Verizon employee why it's like this. And they said that it's all stored on the router. So, I don't really think that's the case. I think that they could have easily somehow made it so you could do another router, such as a Linksys router, which I believe they're still selling on their website, but you've got to plug the Linksys router in through the Verizon router. And keep in mind, the Verizon router will cap the speed limit um, by about, I have saw it's like 145 megabits per second, when I can get over one gigabit, not on Wi-Fi, but on Ethernet, when I'm directly into the wall or directly from my other router. So this is a total piece of garbage router. And they want you to buy this extender, which I'm guessing is not even gonna work correctly. It says benefits from Wi-Fi 6, which a lot of other routers do too, but it's not like this is actually gonna help you, it's their connection that sucks. And it doesn't matter where in the house it is, the thing goes out and it goes out in the neighborhood. I've gotten so used to seeing this van go in my neighborhood, and we're always late too. I made an appointment for 1.15 p.m. They came at 4. And I had something to do, so I had to reschedule it. So basically, Verizon screwed me there too. In March, I went to a hotel. That hotel had better Wi-Fi than my house, and it was free hotel Wi-Fi. Okay, I just want to personally say this real quick. I'm editing this video right now. I took a break. I went and played a game. First time, I went to the lobby of a game. It crashed, or it disconnected from the game. The internet was out for five minutes. Went in again. It worked for nine minutes. Crashed again, or disconnected again. Did the same exact thing. At this point, I am so done. I can't take this. There's a line between screwing me over and screwing with me and they're completely screwing me over right now. We're paying for this internet service. We're not, we're not just being your monkeys, Verizon. We're not just, you're not just here to get our money and just give us terrible internet. Give us better internet or stop charging us. Okay, there's so many better services that we could be using, but no, you have to do this. You have to do this every single day. This is not just a one-time thing. This happens every day for the past, uh, six years, since 2014, since we switched to this garbage internet, in February 2014. Verizon focuses their Wi-Fi apparently around gaming. If you're focusing around gaming, then why have I never had a, po a positive experience? And why has everybody that I've talked to had a terrible experience with this? I've got about six friends with Verizon, none of them like it, all of them have the same problems as me. There's like a line between where you have good internet fast internet, like just generally fast internet, this is what Verizon is, and internet that has a good connection, that's not what Verizon is. So if you want something that's fast, I, I mean I guess you can call it fast, 100 megabits per second, but I, I'm guessing I can get that speeds from a lot of other different providers, and just disconnects on you all the time. And this is not just while gaming. This is everything. This is not just the game servers. This is every game. Google Chrome can't even load up. I went to edit this video. I opened my MacBook up again and I went onto Google Chrome and I noticed, well, it, it was just gone. 
I couldn't use it. It said the connect to internet thing. This sucks. Verizon, please fix it. And this is, as I said, this is not just a one-time thing. This has been happening every day for how many years now? Six? And it's been happening so often in the past uh, five or four months. This sucks.